How's it going? I'm KP the Builder. And I'm Gino J, the Construction King. And we, we build, build builders. builders. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We've been getting a ton of messages from a lot of people asking, is it or is it not a good time to buy? What do you think? The short answer is yes. Now is a great time to buy. In fact, this has probably been the best time to buy than it has been in the last few years. We think the next several months are gonna be incredible opportunities. And one of the reasons is, is because rates are up. Rates are up, so in certain markets, in certain price points, less people can afford housing. One of the things that we're seeing in the market right now is that the demand has come down because rates are up. The other thing is that we've seen a lot of price reductions. Some of this is due to the rates, and some of it's also due to sellers just pricing their houses too high, but it's creating a lot of uncertainty in the market. Are we in a recession? Are we not in a recession? Where is the market going? So yes, the next several months are gonna be great opportunities for people to buy and get really good deals on land, get really good deals on houses. So absolutely it is. All right, so with that being said, it is a great time to buy for everybody watching. Like you said, when there is fear and uncertainty, it creates more opportunity for people who really understand real estate. And that's where we come in. We're here to help you guys in any way you may need it when it comes to real estate, whether it's evaluating land or in actuality to evaluate that it's a great time now in whatever market you may be in, if you buy right, to go ahead and buy some real estate. See, the thing about real estate, it really is a long-term game. Like we've been fortunate to make a lot of money short-term because of COVID, uh, because of inflation, and house prices just have went through the roof because of the supply and demand. But real estate is always, I like to tell people, it's a marathon and not a sprint. Um, so if you're buying with the strategies of holding for long term, you're always gonna make more money long term in real estate. But one of the things that people fail to realize is that there's still a lot of good strategies out there, for instance. So we're not doing, you know, locking our rates in for 30 years. Right now, what I'm personally doing, I'm doing interest only loans. And I'm doing it for seven to 10 years because I don't plan on holding that property for more than that period of time. And when you do an interest only loan, you're only paying the interest on that property. And typically you're gonna get a slightly better rate if you're doing an interest only loan. Uh, you have to understand that rates always fluctuate. So even if you were in a situation where you're, you're buying a house and it's an investment or even something you're living in, the rate that you have today might not be the rate that you have two or three years from now. Correct. Like when I bought my house, uh, I had a rate at about 7%. This was several years ago. And then the rates went down and then four years later, I ended up refinancing at like 4%. So just because the rate is high now, it doesn't mean it's gonna be high in the future. You have to know your opportunities and understand your windows. But interest only loans are a good way to get into the properties and maybe if rates come down in the next few years, then you can refinance out of it. But for my investments, I'm only keeping them for five to seven years. So if I'm locking in at an interest only loan for 10 years, it really doesn't matter. I'm still gonna try to get the best rate. I'm gonna play the equity game. And within that window, I'll sell at the maximum height that I think is appropriate for my investment and then move on to the next one. So understand your strategy, understand what you're trying to accomplish and understand that real estate is a long-term game and you're in it for the long, the longer term and not just six months or a year, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, and to piggyback off of what Gene just spoke about, I know some of you guys may investors, some may be homeowners or potential homeowners. Either way, right now is a great time to buy if you understand the numbers. Can't, can't express that enough. What he was saying about the fear and opportunity that this is going to create, but it also creates a higher demand for rental properties because people aren't buying so much right now. So if you're an investor, this is a great opportunity to get in the game, buy more properties and put them out for rent because with the rates going up, people aren't buying as many homes as they were just six months ago. Absolutely. In case in point, um, I have a house now that I'm refinancing 
and the interest rate is 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 almost a point higher than it was last year or several months ago this time but i'm getting a lot more in rent so even at the higher rate the rent is a lot higher so actually i'm making more money per month now with the higher rate than i was with the lower rate because i locked that tenant in for a two-year lease so now with the interest rates being higher the demand for rents are a lot higher because more people are renting so in this scenario, I'm actually making more money. So again, it's always a good time to buy. Understand what you're buying, understand what your exit strategy is, and understand what the opportunity is. Make good decisions and you can't lose, especially if you're holding property over longer periods of time. And that's it, folks. So case in point, now is a great time to buy. If you're an investor or if you're a homeowner, it's a great time to get out there. Just buy it right. So with that being said, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you follow us on IG. We're documenting a lot of new bills, a lot of our flips, and just a lot of content. So follow us on multiple platforms, and we look forward to teaching you guys how to build houses, create generational wealth, and just invest in real estate. I'm Gino J, the Construction King. And I'm KP, the Builder. And we, we build, build Builders. builders.